Oh, guys, amazing job on this film. I it was brilliant, v visually stunning too, man. It was it was everything that you can do in a World War II movie in this modern era of technology. It's crazy, but um. Let's start with Murray. I want to talk about how his relationship is with Best and how that kind of, how it, how it evolves throughout the course of the film. Yeah, um, Murray is a, is, a, is a young man, not specified age, but young, probably too young to be out there serving. And um, he's with uh, Dick Best, who's this kind of hothead, doesn't seem to really, uh, seems that he doesn't really care about life or death. So you kind of have this juxtaposition of these two guys. Uh, one's the, the big courage, uh, has all this courage, and the other one is meek and almost is not sure whether he wants to be, to be there. So I think that there is a lot of fun moments and interesting moments to play of, of a soldier who's really scared um, and playing on the reality of what I'm sure a lot of young men were going through during that time. Yep, and uh, Lindsay, now I, I like to think that he's a smarter version of Best in, in a way a little bit. Sure. Um, yeah. he, he, he's more logical in, in his way of thinking. Can you talk to me about the rivalry between Dick Best and Lindsay, and Lindsay a little bit? Well, the thing that I like about this film is how uh, courage and heroism is sort of displayed in many different manners, that there's no right or correct right. way to be your own hero and service the things that you believe in the best. You know, war is absolute chaos. Right. And so in, 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 the, in the case of you know, Kean's character, just rising to an occasion, that's its own courage. You know, uh, th even though there's a, there's a danger in the lack of his own, uh, caring about his own mortality, Dick Best, that is its own courage right. to, to inspire other people. And so I think uh, Lieutenant Commander Lindsay, uh, his courage is kind of, you know, sticking to the book and being um, being logical about these things. How many lives can we save? How many? How many, How can we be most effective in the ways that thing? The tried and true way of things. How can How can that help people? Which is sort of diametrically opposed to how I think Dick Best uh, acted, at least in the context of, the, of this story. Sure. But those are two very courageous and heroic ways of thinking Absolutely. Um, that might come to blows. And I think it's nice that, uh, you know, throughout the course of the film, they kind of recognize that in each other, um, that at the end of the day, they're both there for the same reason, and they just have different methods of, of accomplishing it. Now, World War II films, um, we've seen them throughout history. Why is it important for the contemporary, modern day society to see films that are historically based on, on things from our past? Well, this is a World War II movie, and it specifically focuses on, yes, the the Pacific theater, in particular, the, Amer the American and Japanese front of things, but make no mistake, this is world history. Right. And this is a world story. I mean, if this, if the Battle of Midway had gone differently, you know, the entire Northwest, if not the West Coast of the United States, would be, you know, we'd be speaking a different language. I mean, it's in the world would have gone in a very, very alternate, uh, alternate place, um, and that would have affected the rest of the world. And so, when you have stories of, I mean, war stories. Are they're international tales because you know courage really has no nationality. You right. know, overcoming odds is is a universal tale. Right. Um, you know when we when we tell you know Greek when we watch Greek tragedies or Shakespearean plays. You know uh, the the plights of the Romans and people around the world. Like we don't go oh well you know I'm, I'm not Roman I don't understand what that is. We we know what it's like to be up against something and what it is to root for people that are subscribing themselves to things that are bigger than themselves. And, and it's also great on West to, to play both sides of the story. Which yes, is, uh, yep, absolutely. exactly. It's, you know, many years ago, it probably would have been a little bit more biased, and I think that it was incredible to have both sides to show. I mean, I, I, honestly, I, there was some of the most emotional moments were with the Japanese crew. I, I completely crew. agree. Yeah, I com like yeah, exactly. the sacrifice, and that is true courage that is built into them over the years because of their uh, their culture, you know, how, how they're willing to sacrifice for sacrifice even after they've lost, sacrifice themselves for a point. For honor. Uh, that sense of honor, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That samurai sense so, of Yes, yeah. very, it's a very moving thing. And I like how you, know, you, you show two sides that are equally brilliant you know, and doing their best, you know, given crazy circumstances. You know, what, is, what does that say about not necessarily a country, but of, of a human being? Exactly. You know? And uh, I think it speaks very well of both. Well, you guys did a great job. I can't wait for everyone to see this film. And, and great point about the seeing both sides. It's, it it yeah. is a really smart way of doing this. It's very respectful and inspiring, totally. Yep. Thank you guys so much for your time. Pleasure, man.